isotope. What the heck is an isotope? And how does it differ from, say, an ion, which is the word most people get this mixed up with? What is an isotope? Well, an isotope has to do with atoms. And my job is, in this video is to make sure that when you're done with the video that you understand what an isotope is and that you never forget it. It'll never be confusing for you again. And if you, if you get to the end of the video and you don't understand it thoroughly, then you let me know in a comment and I'll get back to it again. I'll make a new video for you. So what's an isotope? Well, let's go back to what you what you probably have learned somewhere around the eighth grade about atoms. Well, you learned that an atom is basically the building block of matter in the universe. Atoms are the building block. And you know that, that atoms are made up of basically three particles, and those particles are protons and neutrons and electrons. protons, neutrons, and electrons, those three particles. Well, you also learn somewhere along the line that protons are in the nucleus, well, you also learned along the line somewhere that protons are in the nucleus, and that protons have uh, a charge, an electric charge, and that charge is plus one. You also probably learned somewhere along the line, hopefully, that protons have a mass equal to one unit. And let's go ahead and talk about neutrons. You found out that the neutrons, like protons, are found in the nucleus. And that neutrons have zero charge they're neutral. I guess that's how they get their name because they're neutral. Zero charge. And each neutron has a mass equal to one, just like a proton does. And then, of course, there's these little electrons. The you know, first thing that you understand about electrons are that they're tiny and they're outside the nucleus. Outside the nucleus. And you also find out that electrons have a negative charge of 1. And that they have no mass. Well, if you learn that they have no mass, that's not entirely true. They actually have a tiny little bit of mass. It actually works out to like 1, 1,836th the mass of a proton or a neutron. Which means that really when you're talking about the mass of an atom, the mass of the electrons is pretty darn insignificant. It's sort of like a flea sitting on the back of an elephant. It makes no difference in the total mass. So what's important here? Well, when you're talking about isotopes, what's really important is not the electrons. Well, that's because they basically have no mass. And when you're talking about isotopes, you have to be talking about the mass of the atom. So the fact that electrons have almost no mass, that means we don't count the electrons. It makes no difference they don't have, that they only have a negative charge. That makes no difference when you're talking about isotopes, because when isotopes, you're only concerned with mass. It makes no difference that electrons are outside the nucleus, at least not when you're talking about isotopes, because isotope is concerned with mass and mass only. So, guess what? We can forget about the electrons for right now. And we're only concerned with protons and neutrons. And what's important about the protons and neutrons is that each one has a mass of one mass unit. That's what we're concerned with. When you talk about isotopes, you're concerned with mass and only mass. And that mass is found in the nucleus of the atom where the protons and neutrons are located. 
So let's take a look at an atom. And the atom I'm going to use as an example here is going to be a lithium atom. A lithium atom. All lithium atoms. All lithium atoms have in their nucleus three protons. And that's what this says. This symbol says a lithium atom with three protons in its nucleus. So let's start there. Let's look at the nucleus of a lithium atom. Here's the nucleus of a lithium atom. Now we know of course that out here in the energy levels in the electron cloud. There's these electrons zooming around in this fashion here. And we're not concerned with those. We are only going to be concerned with what's in the nucleus of the atom. And what's in the nucleus of this atom? What's in the nucleus? Well, we know that there's protons in the nucleus. And in my diagram, when I draw a proton, I'm going to make a proton red. So a proton is going to be red. That's going to be a proton. And in my atom, when I draw a neutron, I'm going to make a neutron green. So protons will be red, neutrons will be green. So I, hey, since this is a lithium atom, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in this nucleus. I'm going to put in here one, two, three protons. That's what makes it lithium. Three protons. Its atomic number is three. The atomic number of lithium is always equal to three. Right there, three. Its atomic number is three. It's not going to change. So here is my lithium atom. And I'm going to just throw in there, let's suppose I went out there in nature and I found a lithium atom that had one neutron in that nucleus. Well, the most important thing about an atom is its mass. When we're talking about isotopes, the most important thing is the atom's mass. And this atom has in its nucleus one, two, three, four particles that have mass. Each one has a mass of one. And that gives this lithium atom, this lithium atom, a mass of, well, one, two, three, four. It gives it a mass of four. And it gives it an atomic number, remains three. Just like that. So now we have here, we have lithium with a mass number of four and an atomic number of three. Well, let's take another neutron and put it in the nucleus. So I went out and I found a different lithium atom. This lithium atom has four particles in its nucleus. It has the three protons that make it lithium. It still has an atomic number of three. However, it now has a total of one, two, three, four, five particles in its nucleus. So this lithium atom is now still has an atomic number of three, but it is lithium five. It now has a mass number of five. Its atomic number is still three, but its mass number is five. Why? Because it has two neutrons along with those three protons. All right, let me put another neutron in here. Well, here's another lithium atom. I found this one. It has three protons and three neutrons in its nucleus. So this lithium atom, again, if you look at the protons, has an atomic number of three. That's what makes it lithium. But it also has, in its nucleus, three neutrons, and that gives it a mass number of six because it has a total of six particles in its nucleus. So we have lithium four, lithium five, lithium six, and if I had another neutron in here I could have 
lithium and I would have lithium 7 I would still have an atomic number of 3 atomic number 3 atomic number 3 atomic number 3 atomic number 3 mass number 4 mass number 5 mass number 6 mass number 7 why is a mass number different because each has a different number of neutrons which gives it each one more mass these are isotopes of lithium isotopes are atoms of the same element in this case lithium that have different mass numbers four five six and seven because they have different numbers of neutrons that's what's important that's what makes the difference would we have to just talk about lithium absolutely not most atoms in nature have isotopes here for instance is the most common atom found in nature found in the universe it's hydrogen and there are three isotopes of hydrogen there's hydrogen 1 hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3 these are the mass numbers 1 2 3 hydrogen 1 has only one particle in its nucleus that particle is a proton hydrogen 2 has one proton in its nucleus but it also has a neutron which gives it a mass number of 2 well hydrogen 3 has one proton in its nucleus but it also has two neutrons in its nucleus gives it a mass number of three so these are three isotopes of hydrogen they have names hydrogen deuterium that prefix means two and tritium the prefix tri means three hydrogen deuterium and tritium three isotopes of hydrogen so atoms of the same element in this case hydrogen that have different mass numbers one two three in this case because they have different numbers of neutrons they are isotopes isotopes are atoms of the same element that have different masses because they have different numbers of neutrons.